Greetings everyone, this is Peggy Mbata from Tekeshwani Digital Classroom. Today I'm going to show you how to receive a file from your smartphone via Bluetooth. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is check here if there is any Bluetooth icon. I can see that there isn't any here. Therefore, on your keyboard, let me just quickly show you um, on your keyboard. This is the start button I want you to punch. Okay, over here. Punch the start button. And once the start button has been punched, type blue. You will see this coming up. And then click on it. If you are using Windows 10, if you are using Windows 10, you will see this Bluetooth. Then you turn it on over here. And then on Windows 8, you will not have this more Bluetooth options. But on Windows 10, we have it. So we click on this and make sure that it is discoverable. Make sure that uh, it will alert us when a Bluetooth wants to connect another Bluetooth device. And it should also show the Bluetooth icon on the notification area. So once all of these are checked, then we are good to go. We just click on OK and close our settings pane and go down here. There's our Bluetooth icon. We click on it once. That is a left click and click. Remember, we said we want to receive from the smartphone. Therefore, we click receive we are over here. From there, let's go to our smartphone and check how to send from there. We will find the name of this Bluetooth on the smartphone. It should be listed as if you don't know what the laptop name is or the system name you can just punch start and type system and then it will say in system information here there it is it says mbongolo so on our smartphone we must see it as mbongolo and then we know it's this one because sometimes you have many bluetooth devices around you enabled then you don't know which one is yours okay let's go to the smartphone now send a file to my pc I will have to locate files or oh, there's files. I tap on files. I have to decide whether this file is on the internal storage here or it's on the SD card. So let's access files on the SD card. I click tap on SD card and scroll down, scroll down until I find documents. There's nothing there. Go down. Go down. I have received a document via WhatsApp, for example. So I will go and tap on WhatsApp. And then I go down to WhatsApp Media. Tap there. And check WhatsApp Documents. Tap there. There is the document I wanted. Is the State of the Nation, Nation Address 2019 by our President. So I tap on this and hold you will see that check mark inside a a yellowish uh, circle there and then you go up top right corner you see share tap on share and immediately you tap on share it will give you options now you can share via whatsapp share via uh, share it and many other options so we are interested in bluetooth for now there it is towards the center there tap on bluetooth and then it will start turning on bluetooth and remember what we said when we were receiving in the pc we said our system name is mbongolo so we are going to choose mbongolo mbongolo as you can hear the file has been sent let's check on our pc observe this There you are. The file has been received. So upon reception, you can then choose a location here. Can you say, see where it says location? You can choose where you want to store the file. In this instance, I click browse and I just want to place it on the desktop. 
and then I click on desktop and tap OK and finish there is my file received it's as easy as that thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel at digital classroom see you in my next video